Hey guys, um, so this is not the look we're doing today. Um, if you saw the pictures are a little different. Um, the portion of my video that I had made introducing and ending the tutorial got deleted, of course, so um, I'm sorry about that, but um, I have pictures, I still have all the tutorial up, so um, I hope you guys really enjoy it, and um, please leave me some feedback. Subscribe to my channel because I'm a loner and I have no subscribers, so alrighty guys, I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, so um, we're going to start with our Durban Decay Primer Potion. And um, you can use any base, of course. And then I'm gonna go in with my Soft Brown by MAC and my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just gonna slowly place this um, above my lid and into the crease and a little bit above the crease. So we're just gonna work that in and kind of blend it up above the crease. Once that is completed, grab um, a soft pencil brush, and this is Smut by MAC, and it's just kind of a gray, it's not completely black, I don't want a super dark look, it's just kind of a dark grayish look that blends quite well with the soft brown, and so I'm just going back in, that's my 2 and 7 brush, and I'm just, you know, kind of blending out that dark color I added, kind of adding some more soft brown to soften up the harsh line. And again, I'm just put, I'm putting some more soft brown on my brush and on my eyelid to kind of add more of that warm color to it. Then with my pencil brush, I am um, this is I'm going back in with smut and redefining that crease line that I kind of um, smudged out with my two and seven brush. Once you're happy with the color payoff, you are going to go in with a flat shader brush and this is Max Brulee, which is a very neutral skin colored highlight. And I'm going to place that all under my eyebrow and start to blend it down to that soft brown. Alright, so with my Sonia Kashuk flat shader brush, I'm taking Tissue Weight by MAC just kind of a light peachy skin tone and it has a little bit it's a frost so it has some um, sparkle to it so the whole look isn't just matte and I'm just redefining that crease really quickly because we want it to kind of stand out okay so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner which is kind of the main focus of this look so you want to get it to look really neat and really smooth and um, I'm just using um, Lash Stiletto, it has a really nice easy wand for anyone who has trouble with um, the gel liners. And I'm going to make it small towards my, my um, tear duct and get much wider and a, the line's going to get a much darker and wider at the very end of my eyelash. And then I'm just going in with gel liner and filling in any spots that might be missing some black because my um, lash stiletto was kind of running low on the liner. So I'm just going in and filling in any spots that look a little gray or maybe not filled in at all. And then make sure you get it into that tear duct and you're going to create kind of that cat eye look in the tear duct but not too deep. Okay, so now I'm going in with Max Feline which is just a nice cold pencil, black, and um, this just came out with the Champagne collection. It only comes out sometimes. And um, I also put that in my um, upper eyelash line, and I'm going in with soft brown, and I'm going to soften up that black line and just kind of smudge it out. And if, with the soft brown, it kind of gives it a softer look. There you go, I'll zoom in so you guys can see it a little better what I'm doing.
Okay, so now we're gonna do our eyebrows, and um, if you want me to do a tutorial on it, I will, but um, for now, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lips, and um, I'm only gonna be using two colors, one's a lip gloss and one's a lipstick, and the first color I will be using is um, Girl About the Town by MAC, and um, it's a really pretty, pinky, pink, and it's, it's really bright. And yeah, I'm just using a concealer brush, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lips. You can of course use a, um, a lip brush, but um, this I just is clean. So, all right. So this is what we're gonna do is put the color all over the lips. So that's just our um, main color. And next, we're going, I'm gonna put on a really bubblegummy pink lip gloss color, and this is from the Peacocky Collection. Um, it's Vanity Fair from the Kissable Lip Color that just came out. Gorgeous, I love this one, and Enchante and Scandalicious. They're beautiful, beautiful colors. And if you like this color of my lips, um, Scandalicious is just like it, but in a lip gloss form, and it's beautiful and it's the best texture ever so um you should get your hands on a, um, a couple of these I, I have three so all right so now I'm gonna put the pink lip gloss um, right more in the middle of my lips not towards the outside and I'll just show you what I'm about to do so in the middle So just kind of rub them together, and if you want, you can even go back in with your lip brush and kind of blend it. And now the lips just kind of have a little more dimension. It's kind of the middle's a little more lighter and the outside's darker, kind of like if you were to put um, a lip liner on without having the real lip liner. So um, okay, that's the simple lip portion of the video. Okay, so here I am again, not wearing the makeup that I did in the video, but I hope you really enjoyed it and um, can make some good use of it. Um, I really like it. It's actually one of the favorite looks I've ever done. It's really light, but still has like the dramatic cat wing, I mean, winged liner. <laughs> and um, so please subscribe to my channel, guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And um, if you're going back to school like me, good luck. <laughs> Bye.